Hey, hey, everybody, it's the White Raven 84. And the Magic And this is Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Let's get started. Like I said, starting with the wonderful, sexy, amazing, stupendous, crazy, ridiculous, amazingly awesome, beautiful water temple update. So, what you want to do is sink to the bottom of this of Lake Hyla, this random switch thing. That'll open up the gate. Have to have the iron boots and the tunic. Well, technically, I'm get the tunic to open it, but you will need the tunic for the temple. I don't know. How did you get to the temple without a tunic? That's interesting. I think we've ever tried. No, I haven't. Tried. All right, so bear with me. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go ahead and do one thing real quick. I nor don't normally do, but I s it did help me last time I played this. So, if you go over here, there's a block you need to push for something you do a little later. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. This is something people forget sometimes. Oh, let me explain how this temple works. So as you saw, we have to, every time we need to sink into an area, you have to put your iron boots on. Which means you have to go in the menu, put the boots on, sink. And then if you need to go back up somewhere, you have to take your boots off. Go into the menu, take your boots off, and go back up. For every single time. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. There's many reasons why people hate this temple. That's one reason. The other reason is the keys are placed retarded, and the other reason would be because it's just so annoying. There's, the enemies are annoying. The way you have to do the temple is annoying. It's just, it's just isn't a fun temple. It's probably the reason why people, the sole reason why people don't like this game. Probably. I've known people that haven't even finished it. But, you know what? I don't think it's that bad. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna stop whining. We're gonna rain. That's what we do here. That's what That's I do. That's how we play. Are you playing Miss Pac-Man? Yes, I am. I'm playing Miss Pac-Man. Sorry. Alright, so you go in here and... There's your wife! Is that your wife? Her yeah. boots. And she got earrings. And, I, like, are those her ears, actually? I really don't know. Why do all the other Zors have like the long like fin tail down? And is she the only female one? Because you know, you know. I she's think in this game she is the only female you see. Her head's a little different, you but know, in the, than the rest. Majora's Mask, there's that one that sings. Well, yeah. I thought there was another one too. Uh, maybe there was. Anyway, the listener talks. She says uh, she oh, saved her from you know when oh, she sort of domain. Talking about the, another gimmick in this temple where there's three areas in the temple where you can change the water level. You're gonna have to do that in order to get to the three levels of the temple. That's the second reason why people hate this game. You can close the temple. Alright, so what you gotta do is follow her. You can see her shadow there, but when we get to the top, she's gonna randomly disappear. I don't know where she goes. She's magical. And that will come to you later. Yes, yes. This room is one of the keys that people yeah, that middle part of it has a key in it, you can't get it until the water level's at its second height. This lowers it back down to the bottom water level. Yeah, we're, there's no water level right now. Just so want to do this. The whole temple will be drained of all the water. But if you want, you can grab the dungeon map. It's right in this room right here. You should have to defeat a couple enemies. Okay, these, these guys annoying. are annoying. What you want to do, you can hit them. You have to hit him twice. You have to hit him once, turn him into a rock, and you have to hit him again to kill him. Now, if you're underwater, you can't use your sword for whatever reason. So, the only way you can kill them is with the hook shot. So you have to hit him with a hook shot, and then they'll fall into the little rock, and you hit him again to kill him. This temple pretty much uses the hook shot for everything. Alright, uh, so there's the dungeon map if you want it. Let me head back downstairs. And uh, you can do this uh, one of two ways, too. You can shoot those torches, use the fire to light the torches with an arrow. So you just stand on each side of the thing and light and shoot an arrow so it gets above the torch and it'll light the torch. Or you can just in fire like I did. Way easier. Ah, uh, another enemy in this place. Clam guys, these guys are really annoying because they're really hard to hit. You have to hit them like... When their mouth is open. Yeah, a couple seconds after they open their mouth, they'll be vulnerable.
should have killed earlier? They give you bombs. I don't know why you kill them with bombs. And then those guys give you arrows. Anyway, so that's all we need to do in this room for now. Come back there later. Now what I do, I usually just go, just go to every room. Especially if you want all the stuff, all the sculptures. Then you definitely. Oh no, this is the room where we can't go until later, till we get an item. So don't worry about that. The other two we will need to go to. Uh, so this one, just gotta push the block in. Takes forever. I feel like a few blocks to do those two. Um, yeah. Again, put your iron boots on. You kind of get into routine, you'll know. Like, it gets easier as you go. Take it off. Take it off. Okay, this room. for this room is I take this guy out first. No, you hit that and it's going to make the water a little wider. Water guys are in the middle you can jump on to get across the other side. If you don't take out that guy, he can hit you and knock you into the bottom and that can cause some problems. Oh, this room. Alright, for this room, you want to get yourself right above that dragon tail or whatever it is. You put your boots on and you'll land right on it. Or not. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, this room has a current in it. So it goes around it. Okay. Have to okay, right about there. It won't let you go backwards if you try. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit that with the hook shot, and then you're gonna hook shot over there, and that because the gate is timed after you hit that. You wanna get behind on the other side of the gate, and then use your boots to go up. And there's two clams. Take a hit, get on the other side, and put your boots on. So, because they might hit you out. Yeah, I did try that earlier, and they hit me out of the side of the gate. Ah, so, we got another key right here. You can try to take them out, but that's probably going to be more of a hassle, because you're going to have to like, lower the gate, take them out, lower the gate again. Okay, so now, same thing, that one opens the gate again, so we can get out. Totally miss, like noobs. Noobs. Oh, what the? Oh, he's eating me. Okay. Okay. That's so, all I have to uh, do. Yeah, just ride the current back and grab this right here. Where did they put that target there? I don't think you can even reach it. Maybe when you get an item later. <laughs> Basically, if you hit one of those targets and it's on top, it's like, reaches the ledge, you'll be able to grab that ledge. But, sometimes if you aim at the bottom part of it, you won't grab the ledge, so I was kind of worried there. Alright, some of these places you have to use your hookshot to get back up. Yeah, see this one, the water doesn't go all the way up, so you have to use your hookshot to grab back onto it. There's a couple of those. It makes it even more annoying, because you'll go up there with your boots, and then you'll take your boots uh, back on, and you'll have to sink. Alright, this place you don't have to go in this room, it has a sculpture in it. Blow up this. Oops. Jump in the water, put your boots on. You know the routine, you know. What I usually do is I don't even try to kill this guy, I just push him into the corner and then just start floating. Thank you. 
be determined. He can't look. Okay. So we are done with the bottom section for now. Use one of your keys to go ahead and go in here. You'll go in this room a few times. This is usually the key I missed back when I played this game. You know, this is when I followed a strategy out of this game, which I used to do all the time. Oh, I missed the last one. We'll count that one. That wasn't an er oh, ocarina fail. Like, I followed a strategy guy, I still get lost in this place. Of course, the strategy guy was the greatest. Still, still, I mean, come on. Make the temple a little easier. Oh, oh wow, I almost missed it. So you want to put your boots on. Notice that platform moved up, so now there's a hidden floor right here. So how, how the heck do you are you supposed to know that? Well, it does show you in the cutscene, I guess. That shows the platform. Just Be careful not to hit the spikes when you go down. Now make it long to get out of here. Alright, we got a little battle royale going on here. So you want to, don't stand next to that because enemies are going to drop down. You're going to drop a ton of enemies on you. Take them all out the same way. You can block. Thank you. 